Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher. Today I'm happy to share a drawing video that shows you how to draw a fall tree. The tutorial comes from my website, Arch Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me make more of these. Now here's how to draw a fall tree that even has a little bit of perspective added to it. This drawing project is a great example of how the closer things are to you, the larger they appear. The leaves close to us are big and then get progressively smaller. That's one of the very first rules of perspective, and this project illustrates the idea in a really pretty way. It's super easy to do. Let me show you how. First, though, you need to collect your art supplies, drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. If you want, you can also follow this matching tutorial that you can download from my website. Now before you begin your drawing, it really helps to first make guides on your paper. It's really easy to do. Just fold and crease the paper in half in both directions, like I'm doing here, and then open it back up. You'll have creases that match my directions, and I promise they really do help. Plus, they completely disappear by the time you're done coloring. Step number one, start with the horizon line. You know, they don't always have to be flat, so try drawing one that is a little bit curved. Step number two, draw a simple tree trunk on the right side. And erase the inside line because the tree is in front of the horizon line. Step number three, Draw a kind of cloud shape behind the top of the tree for the leaves. Step number four. Now draw a large bush in the foreground on the bottom left side. And erase that inside line too because the bush is in front of the horizon line. Step number five. Now add a smaller bush behind the big one. You know layers also add some perspective to your drawing. Step number six, draw about a half dozen leaves inside the tree. Step number seven, then add a few of those same leaves falling to the ground. Step number eight, draw a larger leaf just to the left of the tree and then draw an even larger one to the left of that. Step number nine. Okay, the drawing is done, so it's time to trace all those pencil lines with a black marker. All these dark lines will make this drawing easier to see and color. Take a minute or two now to erase any extra pencil lines that are still showing up. And now for some fall coloring. Start with making dark patches of orange on the tree. Afterwards, color around the edges to make them a little bit lighter. Next, make a lot more patches like this all over the tree and bushes. Now, fill in between the orange areas with a red crayon. Use a medium kind of pressure to cover up all the white area, except for the leaves, of course. Now go back and make some of the red areas more red by pressing even harder with the red crayon. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just experiment with mixing lots of bright colors in your bushes and on your tree. Now it's time to color the leaves. I'm going to start with a little orange around the center spine of the larger ones. Then I'm filling in the inside with a golden yellow color. Those really small leaves will look just fine as a bright solid yellow. Now it's time to color the tree trunk. I'm going to use a medium brown color. Now find a grassy green and start coloring in your hill. Press hard so those yellow leaves really stand out. And now it's time to color in the sky. And as you may already know, my favorite is this light blue color that I love to use next to warm colors. 
And that's it, my fall tree drawing is done. See how cool it looks when the orange looks like it's turning into red and then into orange again? If you just remember to make soft edges on your colors when you overlap them, you're pretty much guaranteed some really interesting gradations. And at the very least, the idea is just fun to play around with, especially with fall trees. So I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial and learning a little more about how to mix colors with crayons. I have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Arch Projects for Kids, including how to draw an easy landscape and how to draw a sunset. I'll see you next time and keep on drawing.